Hey, hello everyone. So today I'll be making a tutorial video for the Micro M8 Apple II C Apple II E emulator. So this is a lot better than the Apple Win emulator in that you could uh, actually use a joystick or a gamepad on it. And there's a lot more features on it if you want to... Uh, do basic programming on this you could do it on this emulator so let's get started so this is the website where you can download the program I'll leave it in the video descriptions below so you just go to download here and download the program for your operating system for me I have Windows 11 Pro on this computer which I'm using right now so I'm gonna download that So I'm going to download that. For you, um, the program should be here, but for me, it's some, it's not there. I put it somewhere else in this folder. So what you do is you unzip the program and put that file in there into a folder. That's all you do and you just start the program and it's going to give you this warning this program is perfectly safe so i'm just going to select run anyways it's going to configure um, the program it will take a couple of seconds okay so you should first go to the quick start page for this emulator. It will show you all the keys and everything on how to use it. But I'm just going to show you how to run programs, basically. Okay, let's get started. I'm going to refer this from refer to this from time to time. So this is where you could run the program and select the machine that you want to run. Um, I'm going to select an Apple II E enhanced. That's the machine that I'm going to be using. Shows the CPU. That's the one that I'm using right now. By default, you don't have to change anything. Speed is 100%. Okay, good. You really don't have to change anything here. Everything is good. But if you want to change stuff, you can change it here. So, I'm going to start some programs, some games. You could do that. You could just run the disks that you have. And they can't be zip files. They gotta be unzipped for you to use it. So I'm gonna put that in disk one, and I'm gonna put that in disk two. As you can see, two and one. So now it's started. You should be able to use a USB gamepad without having to do any configuration or anything like that.
I'm going to reboot this, so it's Control Shift Backspace. Restart program. Full screen is Alt and Enter. This program is buggy. It's not running good. So we'll forget about this. Try to run another program. Try running Montezuma's Revenge. Control Shift Backspace to restart. Okay, that works. I'll try another program. Put the disk in there. Control Shift. Backspace again to restart. Apple II has um, <coughs> two buttons on it. Okay, that's enough. Let me get out of here. So we could go to the file system, file management system by pressing Control Shift and tilde, which is this one right here. Control Shift and tilde will enable us to get into the file manager for this system. So we could go to Apple II, disk images, and you could run games on here as well. There's all types of stuff in here, like uh, magazines from the bulletin board service from back in the 1980s. BBS, that is. Um, we could run games. Try Rescue Raiders, which is a very popular game.
Just press enter once and just let it load up. Okay, I'm not running this game from a disk or anything, it's just being run. run from the file system so when this thing was being configured downloaded all that software on there basically this is my favorite game for the apple II. Okay, that's that's enough let me get out of here and go back to the file system um, Let's load one more game and then I'll run different stuff now. Okay, that's enough. Um, you could also swap disks as well. You could do that by pressing Control Shift and Y when you're in the game. And it shows the disks here. It says disk one, disk two, disk three, disk four. Some games are multiple disks. So you have to swap disks in order to play the game. Because uh, when you get to the next level or something, you have to swap the disk. So here you could swap to this by pressing Control, Shift, and S. So Drive 1 is selected. Drive 1 is actually Drive 2. Control, Shift, S again. Drive 0 is selected. 0 is actually 1, and 1 is actually 2. So that's how it goes. So let's see what's selected. 0, 1. Disk 2, Disk 1. I want to select Disk 1.
can't see which disc it is because the text doesn't go all the way. See if I could see that. Yes. I gotta go all the way back there to be able to see it. One. Okay, so this is the this. B, okay, got it. What I want to do is go back here and swap the disk to Control Shift S Drive One. See what's in there. Where in the world is Carmen San Diego? Okay. Let's see which one that is. I want to get the right one. It's that one. So of course, it's not going to work. Uh, let me see. Control Shift Y. Let's see if that will work. Work. Shift S, so zero, disk zero is selected. Side B. Control Shift Q to go back. Let's see if that works now. Obviously, the disk doesn't exist. What I'll do is I'll just run a disk that has a game that has two disks. Let's try Battletech. I need to get out of here. Okay. So I need to get to this screen to do to be able to do that. This one and this two. I'm gonna press Control Shift Backspace. We start it. Try Apple 2C instead, and let's see if that works. Let's 
turn the power off. That's Control Shift and R. Let's go back. Disk one. Disk two. Let's see if that works. This game doesn't work. Okay. Nothing we could do about that. Try this one then. Control Shift Backspace. If well, I want to swap disk, it's Control Shift Y. I just swap the disk. You know what? I'll do that first. Uh, I'm going to restart it now. And I'm going to swap the disk, Control Shift Y. Press enter. Well, I just swapped the disk. Now I'm going to re reboot. And it should be able to load the program. So I just demonstrated that swap swapping the disk does work by just using the GUI. And that's it for that. So, so next I want to do something here. I want to show you some stuff other than just games. There's educational stuff in here. There's all kinds of stuff. I, I used to use Algebra. We used to use Algebra Mentor back in when I was in elementary school. This was some of the programs that I used in um, junior high school as well. This is a hard drive image. Hmm. Thirty two bit hard drive. Nothing's happening. I don't think the hard drive is formatted or something. I'm not sure. Or it crashed. The file system for some reason. I think the thing just crashed. Started file system again. But this emulator is a lot more complicated than Apple Win. Definitely could do a lot more with it. I don't know what Mockingbird is. Mockingbird is a game. <laughs> Okay.
say that's enough. Forget it. That's a game, I guess. I don't know what that is. Got Mac, got programming stuff. Pascal. Getting down with basic. Okay, this is an Apple program that teaches you how to program in basic. I think it came with the Apple II C or Apple II E computer. I remember having it. This teaches you the basics of programming in basic. Put in caps. Okay. No, I don't want to try again. I'll move to the next one. So you're telling us to do some kind of a operation okay or a mathematical oper operant or something okay 10 plus 10 different types of mathematical operands okay yes we shall do more practice friends N times ten. I wonder if we could use parentheses. Divided by ten. Can't use parentheses, okay. We can't do that with this programming language. But we have to use a certain type of syntax. First print. Divided by five. Okay, this is interesting. It shows you how to, the basics of programming and basic. We have Apple Pascal and all this other stuff. If you want to learn programming, you can. Basic program. Educational stuff. All kinds of stuff. This is pretty interesting. Even magazines from the BBS. So something called Bulletin Board Service. We used to have this back in the 1980s before we had the internet. This one even has graphics. It was made in 1988, published in 1988. Some interactive stuff. Newsletter stuff. Hey, let's see, follow. The following extra commands and features have been added to the ProDOS environment 
the program called Nort. I'm going to quick index QI menu. Okay, whatever that is. Okay, that's it. That finishes this tutorial on the Apple II Micro M8 emulator. So you should be able to run this emulator. I'll put these uh, key shortcuts in the video descriptions below. And I'll leave all the links so you could um, learn more about it as well. Okay. Anyways, thanks for watching by Ace1000KS1975 signing out.